So we're coming out of our room and we're going to walk to the beach. This is uh, the Daisy building. It's the family building. That's uh, the buffet right there on the right. So we're kind of at the far end of the resort area from the uh, from the beach. But we're going to take a quick walk down. As you saw, the graphic said this is sped up four times. And in part because it's just a walk. So I try not to make those drag out too long. On the right coming up is what they call the El Beso section. This is the adults only section screened off by a screen. Uh, they have some swim up uh, suites there. Uh, it's a very nice building. I'll have a room tour a little bit later in another video. It does have a pool bar, uh, but it is adults only, no kids uh, there. On the left, we just went by the Daisy area. We'll come back and tour that as well, which is, like I said, is the family section. It has the water thing for the kids to play in. And we're coming up and we're going to walk into this C note here. All of a sudden, we're going a little slower. This is back to normal uh, speed. Uh, cenotes or C notes are, are common uh, throughout the Yucatan Peninsula. That sign describes it a little bit. So we're going to go ahead in here and take a look. There's not much happening in this C-note when we go in. Uh, later in the, our visit, I think it was probably the following day, it was kind of interesting. I hope I have video, but I know I have a lot of pictures that I'll put a, a share. Now, there was like a troop of monkeys that was hanging out in the trees overhead. And there was, uh, a, I don't know what you call a collection of coatis. Qua uh, they're cotamundis, but they are a... Um, Oh, they're like a kind of a rac have like a raccoon tail, long nose, uh, but they are. I would I would assume they're probably carrion eaters in in the wild, but they were uh, very much here looking for handouts from people. There's signs everywhere saying not to feed the the animals, but people were in here feeding both the monkeys and the coatis. And the family that was feeding the coatis probably had four or five of them. They were all posing nearby, you know, begging for food. Like I said, I do have a picture I'll, I'll put up, and I think I have a video I can put up in another video. Anyway, it was just kind of cool to go in here, take a look at it. There was some really small fish, nothing bigger in there. And now we're back out on the road. Coming up on the right is the steakhouse. And uh, the backside of the steakhouse is also a Mexican restaurant. We ate at both of those. The food was amazing. On the left is what's called the privilege area. Now the, the outside area can be used by most, but the building itself and the lounge that's in the building are designed for people that spend a little more. Uh, they have uh, typically have a butler available. They have their own private lounge, uh, private restaurant. Uh, we didn't take advantage of privilege at this uh, property. We did at another one. Uh, the building that will be coming up here now on the right is what's called Eden. And this, again, has the waterfront suites, has a pool bar. And pretty much all of the pools have pool bars. There are four uh, pools here on uh, the property. But this uh, property on the Eden is the closest to the beach, and so it's a little more expensive. As I said, we're just kind of walking down here pretty quickly. It's a nice, easy walk for us with the wheelchair, about 15 minutes uh, from the area by the buffet to get down to this area right here on the beach. In another video, we'll take a walk down through the beach area.